So now let's see how we can work around with Blender Kit online asset library plugin inside of Blender. So here you can see that I got a bunch of objects. I'm just going to delete this out. And if you want to uh, import out some preset objects, then you can easily do so by using Blender Kit online asset library plugin. So for that, first of all, you need to be connected to the internet so that the, li the uh, Blender Kit asset library can be accessed. So in order to access it, I'm going to go around over here on to edit and I'm going to go to preference. And first of all, what you need to do is turn on the 3D view Blender Kit online asset library, as you can see right here. Once you enable it, you can see that you can access out different things like models, like materials, like brushes, as you can see. So let's go around into model right here. And then in the model, I'm going to type in, let's say house and press enter right here. So now what happens is that it accesses out the library and then you got different assets as you can see right here. So let's say you want to import out this house, you can click it and then what happens is that it downloads out that house right here. So it's loading as you can see right here. So you can see the loading in 3D view where uh, it becomes green as you can see. So depending on your internet connection speed, uh, this might take a while. So I'm just going to fast forward in my case. And you can see that as it completes, there you go, there's the house right here. You can go around on to uh, different render views to see how this looks as well, as you can see. So this is how it actually looks. You got the house right here, the model is here, as you can see. So now uh, what you can import is you can import out models and you can also import out other things. You can see that you got the texture and everything else right here. And you know, like the models looks really good as well. So you want to quickly import out things right here for animation and then for different uh, things like testing and so forth. You can use the Blender Kit online asset library right here. As you can see, everything is here, right here, and there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. Let me just go around and then bring in an object right here. I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and let me bring in um, a sphere right here. So let me bring in UV sphere right here, just like this. And let's go around right here. So there you go. You got a spear as you can see. So another thing that you can do is you can search for materials. So to do that, I'm going to go around into material right here. So you can see that ice is selected right here. You can also go around and search for different things like wood, as you can see right here. And then what happens is that it brings in relevant textures that you can use. So once you go around and then click, what happens is that the texture gets loaded up as you can see right here. So you can see that this texture is loading up right here. And what happens is that it gets applied onto the object that you selected, as you can see right here. So this is what you see, as you can see right here. So there you go. There's the, uh, uh, there's the texture uh, that you had applied onto the object right here. Another thing that you can apply is brushes as well. So you can import out brushes. For that, I'm going to go around and create a new sculpting project right here. So this is what I have. So instead of models, let me just go around into brushes right here, just like this. And once you do that, you can see that the brushes, different kind of brushes loads up right here. You can also search for the brushes you want right here. But let me just go around and see what brushes you have. So you can see that there's the laces brushes right here. Let me just click here and let's see uh, how we can work around with it. So let the laces brushes has been downloaded. And now I got the draw option right here. And if I were to draw now, you can see that the laces has been applied right here, as you can see. Let me just zoom out right here. There you go. The laces texture is being applied on to my sphere, as you can see right here. Similarly, you can go around right here and select out different brushes right here. And then same similar strokes get applied, as you can see right here. So you can go around into brushes right here according to how you like it. So there's punk belt as you can see right here. And once I click on it, you can see that the punk belt is being drawn out right here. So you can see that you can go around, work around with the detail, or you can just go around, brush around. And I can see that you got all the details right here, as you can see right here. And it's much more easier. There's bricks as well. Let's try that out over here as well. So let me just go around right here and then draw around and you can see that this is what you have. Let me just go around into bricks right here and you got the bricks as well, as you can see. So you got the brick texture right there. As you draw around, you got the bricks, as you can see right here, just like this. So that is how you can work around with Blender Kit Online Asset Library to bring in different assets inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.